Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle and today we're looking at Twinkle's seed dispersal information and activity packs, useful for learning about this part of the life cycle of a plant and applying this knowledge. Start off with the included presentations explaining how plants spread their seeds in different ways. This comprehensive guide walks through prior learning and gives examples of all the different methods of seed dispersal. Remind learners about pollination, how plants are adapted to their environment and why it's important for plants to disperse their seeds. And then consider the different methods. Why might some methods be more effective than others? Look at some examples of plants that disperse their seeds in each method, such as dandelions using wind dispersal or fruit like apples and coconuts using gravity. A handy glossary of terms is included to refer to throughout. Learners are then encouraged to test their knowledge by playing a game where they match up the plant to the method of seed dispersal, as well as reading this Twinkle original, Percy Pohl's Peculiar Plants. Both packs come with a number of follow-up activities for learners to apply their knowledge in interesting ways. They can complete this all about seed dispersal booklet, an activity that when complete can become a useful reference guide. Can they name two plants and their adaptations that allow them to disperse their seeds? Can they draw different types of seeds like sycamore seeds and explain how their shape helps them disperse? And can they name two different animals that disperse seeds and how they help in this process? Learners can complete these seed dispersal comic strips for a number of different plants and seeds. Cut out and stick the descriptions in the correct order and then draw illustrations for each description. This wanted poster is a fun way for learners to explain the adaptations of a seed. How did it travel and where was it last seen? And learners can also have a go at creating their own seed. What method of dispersal would it use? How is it adapted to its environment? And how does it successfully travel from one place to another? And finally, once learners have completed these activities on seed dispersal, they can have a go at this dispersal by wind investigation. How effective are different plants and fruits at dispersing their seeds in the wind? Everything is included to complete this investigation. A method and list of equipment, a table to record results, and a space to predict the result, answer questions and conclude the investigation. Encourage your learners to think carefully about how they can make this a fair and reliable test. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to comment or review if you found these resources useful and join us again soon.